so it's time for another collections video. Now we have blushes. This one, I have few blushes, not too many. Um, first we're going to start off with a Makeup Geek blush, and this is a Bliss. This one is very light and very pretty and very girly. Um, it is one of the, their pan blushes. I really like this one, definitely for spring and summer. Um, it's just very light. You really have to apply quite a bit on the cheek um, just because of the light shade. But it's very peachy and actually one of my favorite blush colors. Um, I really like it just because it's so girly. Then we have one by Mer Minerals and this is in the shade The Natural High. This was one of the samples I have. I actually think I had three samples of this same color at the same time. Um, but I really like this one. It actually kind of reminds me a lot of NARS Orgasm. These really are very similar. Um, Orgasm I think is just a little bit more kind of shimmery maybe. But they are a lot of the same blush. Um, but I really like both of these. NARS Orgasm is definitely probably my favorite blush of all times. Then I have NARS, um, it is Stephen Klein um, edition. This one is in the shade Vengeful. And I have this blush here which is very red um, and very deep. And then I have a highlight here which is very kind of just a gold color. I think this might have been a Christmas edition because I got it on sale afterwards but I'm not 100% sure. But I really like both of these shades. I really like this highlight. Um, it's very gold and very pretty, very shimmery. Then I have another e.l.f. blush. Um, it's kind of in the same package as the NARS except it has that little part there where you can see through. And this is in the shade Mellow Mauve. Um, I really like the shade of blush because it's just kind of, it's a little bit more brown um, undertone to it. Yeah, I'm not very good at describing colors, so apologize if I'm wrong. Um, but it's a little bit more subtle on the cheeks. Um, another one kind of like Orga orgasm but it's not shimmery and it's just a lot more subtle than that one is to me I think. Then I have this one here by City Color and it is in the shade Guava. It's another one that I really like. It's the one I'm wearing now actually. It's a lot more subtle too. Um, it's very pink but a lot kind of more um, subtle as well. It's not a very bright pink. Um, kind of more reserved I guess you could say. Then I have this one by Hikari, and it is very bright pink, and it is in the shade Tango. And this one is very pigmented, and you have to be very careful when applying it. Then I have this one by Tarte, and it's another one of my favorites that I have, and it is in the shade Timeless. And this is their Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Brush Blush. I really like um, this shade and this collection. It definitely does last a long time, um, probably longer than any of the other blushes. Usually with a blush you have to apply a little bit heavier if you want it to last longer. And this blush I would definitely say, I don't think it lasts 12 hours to say, but it definitely lasts longer than some of the other blushes that's usually the first thing to go. Then I have this blush. I received this in an Ipsy bag and it's by Model Co. It's another very pink blush, very girly, springy, um, I really like to wear it in the summer, just very pretty and it is in the shade Cosmopolitan 1. Then another one of my favorite blushes is this one by Laura Geller and it is one of her baked blushes and this is Baked Gelato in Cantaloupe. This is just another very peachy color, one of my favorite colors of blushes. Um, it's just a very peachy shade. I don't really like, I have a lot of pink blushes, but I usually apply them very light handed just because I don't really like that super, super pink cheek. Um, I like kind of more of the lighter, either more like mauvey brown or like peachy shades, like this one here. Then another one of my newer ones that I just got in, the actual Boxy Charm, and I actually love this one even though it is very bright pink. I know I just said I like pink blushes, but I love this one here, and it is in XO, and this is a Makeup Geek blush. I think my blush habits are actually changing more pink as I go along, probably because I have more pink than anything, so I like it. Then another one that I have, and I like the color of this one, but I hate the texture, the type of this blush. And it is Coffee Cake, and it is by Maybelline, and it is the Bouncy, Dream Bouncy Blush. And I hate how 
well actually now it's more creamy as it sat over time this has become more creamy and now I think it would actually be easier to apply but before whenever I purchased this it was almost hard and I couldn't apply it with anything maybe it was supposed to maybe it was wrong whenever I bought it I don't know I haven't bought I haven't used it in a while because like the first time I used it I tried to apply it and it was so hard and I couldn't do anything with it but now it's actually kind of creamy and I can actually do something with it so I'll have to try this again then I also have this elf blush palette this I think is another um, very inexpensive drugstore item any elf product is going to be very inexpensive. This is another, I think, $6 palette from them. Um, I actually really like all of these shades except for this one here. This one is very shimmery. It actually has, like, specks of glitter in it, which I do not like for almost any product. Um, maybe an eyeshadow, it's okay, but not really for anything. Um, so I don't like this at all. Never use it. Um, all of these three shades here I really like. They are very pigmented, um, so be kind of light handed whenever you're applying them. But for overall, I actually really like this product, and especially for the price, it is great. Hope you guys have enjoyed another one of these collections video. If you have, hit that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.